all right good morning you guys um i'm kind of getting a late start to this vlog and i already kind of messed it up yay um this is gonna be my car tour vlog i did buy a new car back in april of 2021 do not ask me why. I literally only had like three grand left to pay off on my old car, but it was starting to give me some trouble. It was gonna cost me a couple thousand dollars, which in hindsight, it would have just been better to kind of stick with that car um, and not have car payments for a while. Because also right around that time, my insurance dropped significantly. So, <laughs> But I was like, fuck it. Um, I had had that car for like three going on four years and I just wanted something new, which if you know me, you know I usually get a new car every so often, which I know for somebody who's trying to do a debt-free journey, that's not the smartest decision to make. But the car that I have now, it's, um, it's a 2021 Honda Accord Hybrid. Um, and hybrids are pretty good cars. I did some research on them. I got a really, or what I thought was a really good deal on it. Um, the interest is like 2.9% and the goal is to make as many extra payments on it so I can pay it off as early as possible like I was doing with my old car. Um, and then hopefully the insurance will continue to go down. Uh, especially after I move. I will update you guys on that later, but I want to stick to the car tour. But I do want to show you some of the things that I got off of Amazon. There is like one more thing that I want to get. Actually, there's like three more things that I want to get, but the other two I can wait for just because I know I'm getting an extra check this month. And then um, I was able to save a lot of money on like school supply stuff for my daughter just because she already had a lot of this stuff aside from uniforms um that she needed since they didn't go to school like she stopped going to school like halfway into her sixth grade year and then all of seventh grade she was virtual and then she'll be going on to the eighth grade so i was able to save some money there and i can put that into some of the things that i want slash need for the car and i say want slash need because Two of those things, one of those is uh, portable jumper cables, which I'll show you guys on Amazon that I was looking at. Um, they range anywhere from like 60 to 100 bucks, which is really good to have, um, especially when you're like in a pinch, because I know there were a few times where I was stuck when I was living in my old apartment complex where I had to like knock on neighbors doors, which was super awkward for me um, and ask them for a jump. And then I also wanted to get like a portable vacuum cleaner just because um, I mean, when we're walking, we track a lot of stuff on our shoes into the car on the mats. Or maybe I could just change the mats, but at the end of the day, I still like they feel need like a wipe down or some type of vacuum. But I'll show you some of the things that I got. I've never decorated a car before. Um, and this just felt right with this car just because like it's a newer car. It's the car that I wanted um, and it's safer. And it's the car I plan on letting my daughter use when she learns how to drive, which I'm saying that and some of you are probably like, what the fuck? But sh my daughter will be 13 this year. So <laughs> put two and two together, she'll be in high school next year and then she should be driving soon. So, and then it's a brand new car. So by the time she starts driving, it'll be about two, three years old. But let me show you some of the stuff that I ordered off of Amazon. Two of the things already came and I did put in the car. I will insert like a picture of my car and then like show you guys this stuff once everything gets here. I think the rest of the items are coming today um, but yeah, let me show you guys. So here's my computer, my MacBook. Let me see if I can zoom you in. Alrighty, so I ordered these things and I will link everything down below. I hope you guys can see this because this is as good as I can get this angle with this camera right now. Um, but yeah, I got, um, the car coasters and then I got the the blinged out car coasters and then I got the um, push to start like blinged out rim thing not rim but like the edge of it and then I got like the, the Honda thing to bling it out on the steering wheel and then I got a steering wheel cover which that is coming today hopefully before 10 p.m. and then I got the hooks for the back seat of the car which I'm super excited about getting I know those are coming in today hopefully before 10 um, but I did want to get like the the other thing that I wanted to get. Let me see. I'm going to go to my, I have a car list on Amazon. So the only other thing I wanted to get, these are the portable um, 
charger things that I was looking at, but you can see the price, like this one's $69.99 and then this one's $99.95. They're both like best sellers, they're pretty good for the price. And then I wanted to get a car mount since I do like vlogs sometimes when we're in the car. Uh, I was looking at like the LED lights and like the LED coasters, but that might just be extra, but I just have them in the list, but I don't think I'm gonna get those. And then I wanted to get this thing here because it kind of acts as like a um, tent for your license plate. Not that I plan on doing anything super illegal, but it'd be nice to have that there. It's only 10 bucks. And then I was thinking about this, but I feel like this is super, super extra. <laughs> um, especially since it's like the first time I'm decorating a car. Uh, but yeah, that's just in there just in case I decide. But this I'm definitely gonna get along with the car mount and then the portable chargers. I don't know, did I put the vacuum cleaner in here? I did not. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I may get the vacuum cleaner, who knows, but yeah, those, that's like my list of things. I know I'm like super zoomed, super zoomed in. Let me get out of here. Um, but yeah, you guys, I am actually technically still at work. I just wanted to kind of start this and kind of show you guys what I was getting. Um, my hair is pulled up. I have like no makeup. I look kind of gross. But I am going to, when I go on my break, I'm going to do like show you guys like my car. Like the inside and the outside. I think it may be a little dirty just because we were like moving around and doing a lot of stuff for the weekend. And we tracked like mud and like sediment stuff in the car, but it's fine. It is what it is. It's not filthy. I don't have shit everywhere. But yeah, I'll do that part of the vlog in a little bit. And I'll catch you guys then. Bye. All right, guys, here's my baby. I received the stuff, so I'm about to load her up. Bear with me just a moment. Ugh. All right, so we're in the car. Oh, I don't know if this is going to stand up, but whatever, we'll see. It got the goods. So I got these little car clip hooks. Amazon delivered my package super early. So these are what they look like. Let me actually get these out of there. Yep. Yeah. All right, and I'll show you guys what that looks like once I get everything else on here. They did send me like the little, have to take it out because there's a sticker on the front. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it's like the little pieces for the Honda symbol on the steering wheel. Ah, if I can get the other piece to come out, that'd be great. It's like they feel, they already kind of feel sticky, but let me show you guys. I'm going to have to hold this up like this. But yeah, these are the little pieces. I'm going to put them together. Give me just a second. That's on there. Alrighty, so my camera battery died. So I'm filming on my phone on Snapchat right now. I got the steering wheel. Okay, so right about here, I lost a lot of the sound because I decided to film on Snapchat instead of on my phone, you know, like a crazy person. Um, I did struggle for about five minutes to put the steering wheel cover on. It did not come with instructions, although it should have been pretty straightforward. But here's a clip of me struggling for like the next few minutes um, to get this thing on. And I think I made a comment about how hot it was in the car. I don't know why I didn't have the AC on. And I know the lighting was kind of shoddy because I decided to film with a filter. Do not ask me why, but yeah. Here's me struggling to put this on and then I think I made note that I would get back on once I got the seat cover on because it was, it was difficult. <laughs> All right. I was able to get it on. I struggled for like five minutes. But let me show you guys the finished product. Alrighty, so. I okay, so again with the lost sound clips here, I just showed you guys the, the push to start blinged out thing, the blinged out coasters, um, and then me finally getting that steering wheel cover on, which I really liked it. It was super nice. And then I did the blinged out Honda emblem. 
Um, I did not like the way that I put that last little piece on, but I was I was okay with it. It did come with like an extra thing for the push to start. And then um, I was thinking about putting them on the knobs and then I went against that completely. And then there were some extra like little crystals just in case something fell out. Um, I did like what I had so far, but I definitely wanted to add a little bit more. I wanted it to be extremely, extremely blinged out. So that's me explaining that in this clip. Hello. I'm back. Um, hopefully I can finish out my car tour vlog, decorate my car with me um, video today. So I ordered more stuff off of Amazon. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, two of these items already came. They were delivered on Tuesday and yesterday. The last thing is supposed to be coming today. Um, I'm super excited about it. I needed to hurry up because it's gonna be like the finishing piece for the car. But yeah, let me show you guys what I got real quick. Okay, so hopefully you can see this if it will focus. So I did end up getting the, the smoked out license plate. I put it on there myself. It wasn't too difficult. Um, and I do like the way that it looks, but I was not able, it has like the screws in the top and then at the bottom. I wasn't able to put them in at the bottom, but I was able to get them in really tight at the top. So hopefully it stays in place and I go to the car wash today. We'll see. Um, and then I got the, I know I was saying I wanted to get like some of the extra um, push to start like button covers. But what I just ended up doing was ordering this thing here and it was like the the blinged out uh, control switch knob thingies and I put those in the car the other day. They do look really, really nice and I will show you guys that. And the last thing I'm waiting on is this thing. So let me click on it so you can see it. This is supposed to go, it's going to take my car from looking like this to this. Ta-da! Um, so yeah, that is the last thing that I'm waiting to get delivered and it shows you guys like this is, it comes with like the red stuff on it to keep the sticky portion safe while it's shipping. You just peel it off and then place it on there. But I am super excited to put this on my car. Again, it is like the last piece and yes, it was $28.99. I think there was a coupon. Um, but yeah, like I said, I... I just wanted to decorate my car. I wanted it to feel like cute and nice and somewhat luxurious. I mean, it is a 2021 Honda. So to me, that is luxury. I'm not out here like, not in a Camaro anymore. <laughs> not in like uh, some souped out like V8. I don't have like, you know, anything crazy. I have like, um, I feel like it's a pretty safe, like, secondary car. You know how most girls get, like, the little beater? Well, not really a beater. My first car was, what was it? It was a few, it was, like, two or three years uh, older. And everything worked on it fine. It got me from point A to point B. It wasn't, like, terrible. But, you know, you kind of wreck your first two cars. <laughs> you know, get your driving skills up in your first two cars. And then you finally get that car that you can afford yourself. Um... And again, I know some people are probably like, damn, you only had like, you know, a couple thousand left to pay off on your car. Why didn't you just pay it off and keep it or whatever? But y'all, when you're used to something that you're used to, it's, it's hard to break that habit. It's a terrible habit to have, but this car is going to be the last new car that I get for a while. I do plan on paying it off and then letting my daughter use it so she can drive it. And then the next car I get, I want to be able to either pay for it. Uh, half of it in cash and then finance the rest or pay for all of it in cash and not have to finance anything but honestly it was a good upgrade because like I said it is a hybrid um, and to me that only means that they can charge you more whenever you go into the dealership and look for that kind of car because they were trying to get me to get the Honda Accord Touring which is like the souped out crazy luxurious version of that car but I mean y'all it's a Honda like y'all know they last they're good cars they're sturdy but you know, enough about me going off on that. I do plan on paying it down as fast as I can. Uh, so don't come for me, especially when I start putting up these finance uh, slash debt free vlogs and videos. And I am dressed in my workout gear today because I do have to run errands. And then I'm gonna do yoga later on today. It is Saturday when I'm filming this. Uh, my weekends are usually pretty free. I don't really do too much just because like Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday, I am like 
slammed with my civilian job and then if it just so happens to be monday through thursday and then drill weekend <laughs> it's it's a whole mess and i do have like some military videos up if you guys are interested in that and you kind of want to see like what my second job is um but yeah i am gonna go downstairs and i'll show you guys the rest of the car i don't know if that last little piece is gonna be here by the time i finish filming this i kind of just want to get it out of the way so i can put this video up by tomorrow sunday at least the latest um i mean if i don't have it for the video i'll just take a picture of it once i put it on there and then just insert it like right around here but yeah i'm gonna I have to drop my daughter off. She's on with her dad this weekend. Then I'm going to go to the car wash. And then I have a few errands to run. But I'll make sure. Because I do. My car is not filthy. But it is a little dusty. And the mats could use a good like vacuum. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and like wash it. And then do all that good jazz. And then film the rest of this video. So you guys can kind of see what it is. I did name my car. My daughter and I settled on something that we thought was cute. And matched like our names. Because my full government name does start with a c as well as my daughter's name so we decided to keep the theme going and name the car something with a c her name is crystal um and once you see the tour like you'll you'll understand why we went with that but yeah i will see you guys downstairs bye y'all look it's my baby bye. it's my baby i'm so extra but yeah yeah Oh my god. Okay. Oh, let me show you guys the hooks that I put on the fucking car. She's adorable. Push to start. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's do a quick overview. Where you from? Where you Where you from? The blinged out coasters. And y'all, these don't stick. Literally, I can just pick them up and then put them down. I got the crystals on the knob. Let me actually turn on the AC because Carla looks like she's about to pass out y'all she's not going camping she's just going to stay with her dad for one night <laughs> don't ask me why this bag is so big <laughs> but yeah i ended up getting the crystals the knob covers i like these ones because it doesn't cover this part so i can see what these buttons are for um but these Same. ones <laughs> they don't do that but i know this one has to do with the volume and turning the carplay stuff on wait which my phone should be connected so i don't even know why it's telling me that Hold on. Maybe somebody could be helpful and drop it in the comments with that other one for. Anyway. I don't doubt it. But yeah, anyway, that's supposed to be like the the thing for the and I hate this cord situation being in the way, but this is for my dash cam. I have to have my dash cam. Um this one though, I know it says tunes and scroll, but it says something on like how these have like words on them. These have words on them too, but they're covered. And I like it. Like, it's super cute. And then I usually have this here when I have my phone here and then I'm going to hold it. Um, I mean, I'm hands-free anyway because I do have Apple CarPlay. But, yeah, I also have this thing here. And then, of course, you guys saw the seat cover, which I didn't realize it was black and then the white, like, diamonds. And I'm using quotations or crystals or whatever. And then this is still kind of growing on me. I wish I can kind of, like, pick this one up and move it a little bit but like i said once it's on there she, she's on there so yeah but let me go to the back and show you guys the um hi carla the crystal covers i have yeah that's carla's like pillow when we fly but yeah i i don't know if you can see it is it gonna don't touch me stop move <laughs> but yeah the, shush the crystal covers are not covers <laughs> jesus christ the hooks and then i have my purse on here and then I have one on this side, which I don't know if it's gonna, there we go. I think I wanna get two more of those. And I did have an extra one of these. This is the, um, what is it? The smoked out or the tent, like license plate. It's in bubble wrap. It, they did send me two, which I know in some states people have like two license plates, but in Louisiana, we only have one. But I do have an extra one just in case. Cause when I go to the car wash, <laughs> When I go to the car wash, we have to see if it's going to stay on. So hopefully it does. I'm going to hang my umbrella on one of those hooks real quick. And then I bought the thing to charge my camera in my car. I'm actually going to see if that works really quickly. So yeah, sorry about the angles and the visuals that you guys are getting. Give me one quick second here. And I'm slightly retarded. 
Hey, it works! So now I can charge my camera in my car because I have these extra little ports. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the one that um, the dash cam is in and then it has a port within it. And then I have this, which is what the camera is connected to. And then there's one more to like charge. But yeah, my little car has everything. That other piece didn't come yet. Amazon still had like four other stops to make before they got to me. So, and we have to go because Carla's gonna start driving me crazy if I don't get her to where she's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview, a little synopsis of what the car looks like. I'm not gonna show you guys my license plate because that's, that's weird. Like I already know too much about the car and whatever, but I'll do a quick overview and like a more in-depth tour once I get her washed. But we got a few errands to run. I don't know if I'll vlog that because I mean, I'm going to like the dollar store, Target, and then I have to drop her off. So, I mean, y'all been in a dollar store and Target before, but yeah, I will catch back up with you guys when I get to the car wash and wash my car. Bye. I'm back from running my errands. Amazon did not come before I left. Um, which sucked. They did deliver while I was out. I did go to the dollar store and then Walmart instead of Target. That's not important though. Um, I got the last piece. The sticky stuff is still on there. So I'm going to set this up. The angle is going to be terrible because I do not have like a thing to hold the camera up, but whatever. I'm going to take this, attempt to take this stuff off and then show you guys what the finishing touch looks like because I'm super excited it's like the last thing I'm gonna order well no the last thing I'm gonna order is going to be the um what is it called the uh wow I'm having a brain fart the portable jumper cables that's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna order but I'm gonna place this thing on here um should have brought a wipe but whatever Let's see how she looks. <gasps> you guys, I love it. Oh my God, yep, that was the final touch. That was all I needed. That was it. Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm gonna show you guys, let me put this stuff up. And then I still have to go vacuum and wash the car. So I am gonna do that and then I'll give you guys like a tour when it's clean because my seats look terrible right now. So let me show you guys what it looks like. This is it. It's so, I'm gonna get the charger out of the way. It's so nice, I love it. I'm so used to having like the, the thing that you grab, but the buttons are growing on me. Well, they've grown on me, but this looks so nice. It was the finishing touch, so you guys can kind of see everything is like sparkling in the sunlight. But yes, that was the finishing touch. All right. I'm going to see y'all at the car, well, after we get the car wash. Bye. I'm back home from the car wash. So, y'all, it's so clean. I love it. But um, yeah, so I kind of, I'm gonna put the little snippet of me like walking to my car um, and give you guys kind of an overview. I will show you the inside since I'm already in here and it is 82 degrees out here. It's real fucking hot. So I'll film that last little bit of like what the car looks like when I step out. But you guys already saw the bling bling blouse that I put on here, the steering wheel cover, the Honda emblem. Um, and then like the decked out like knobs and I'm sorry about the lighting. Wow. That did not help, but I have covered parking at my apartment. So it's blocking out like all of the sun. And then I had to turn on like these lights so you guys can kind of sort of see me, but I did, um, get the car wash and got the tires a little shined up. Um, cause the Honda rims are really, really nice. But let me show you guys what the inside look like. I did, I didn't go crazy with the vacuum cleaner because it was hot out there and I'm sweating my ass off. Um, and I haven't even done my yoga session yet. So, uh, you guys can see the steering wheel cover. You can kind of see like the bling on the emblem here. I don't know. Yeah. 
anyway um let me show you what like the seats and everything look like now that everything's like vacuumed so i mean yeah that's not exciting i'm like showing you guys the floor of my car but i don't keep anything like over here in these little areas my purse is here and then um the back seat is always really clean but that's just because my daughter rides in like the front and then we do have like this little stuff in the back for people who sit in the back to kind of control the ac and then there's these extra little things for people to charge their phones if they need to so there's a lot of those like in the car like they even have them here and then of course this one here my phone's in even though this little thing here like it's a charging mat so i can put my phone like on this area and it'll charge it but i don't do that because i like to have it like right here um but yeah that's pretty cool that the car comes with that i do hate like all of these cords it is kind of annoying um but i only really bring my charger with me because that one down there it doesn't charge the phone super super fast like it works it just doesn't charge it fast enough um and then this is what that looks like when i take the it's just like your standard like you know charger plug thing for the car but again this is a dash cam that i keep plugged in it's right here um and then of course like i said let me move all this stuff out of the way i have this little thing on here i got this thing this is my second one of these i had it in my old car i got it from five below but it stretches out so if you have one of those bigger phones you can use one of these too um and then i keep the febreze vent clips i keep two so i keep one over here too um right here i just have like hand sanitizer for when we're like out and forget the button for the trunk is right here super nice um, there's like the button for the hood yep my foot and then uh, I think this is like the lane keep assist and then to um, the traction for the tires I forgot what these buttons do I think one of these has to do with the odometer I'm not gonna mess with that though um, and then I keep one of these in here just to kind of clean up the dust in the car I have a few of these they're microfiber towels I have a few of them in the house I have a lot of controls um, on this panel here and then a lot I'm not gonna turn the steering wheel around it's a little crazy but lane keep assist i know for sure this fucker works like if you start to veer off the lane even just a little itty tiny bit it's gonna pull you right back over and then there's like cruise control right here i know it's upside down i'm not fixing the wheel because that's how i pulled in and then i've got the volume buttons and i can control the music and then any like calls to be like hands-free and then you guys have seen like the dash of my car like i haven't filled up since last week so that's great um and then this car like i said it is brand new i know i have 3,000 miles on it but i do drive back and forth for uh, my military job and of course like if you've had a car that has carplay like you you know how this stuff goes like y'all know how this goes yeah just car ah, i'm not gonna show you that <laughs> um yeah and then i keep my stuff for the car in here um, like the registration, the manual, insurance, etc. I know I should probably take this thing out, but I just never got around to doing it. So it just kind of hangs there. So everything in there is kind of boring. And then in this little center console, which I'm thinking about getting something for this. But honestly, because I rest my arm on it, I don't know yet. Um, but before I do that, let's go here. So I put this bling on here, but like this is the, the control center. Since I don't have a better word for it. Drive, neutral, reverse park which it took me a while to get used to the buttons and not grabbing like the actual controller um and then i have eco mode sport mode ev mode i still don't really i forget what this one is for but there's there's something there this is additional parking brakes so like the brake holes i have yet to use these two buttons here i did drive in econ mode um i like it it's not anything crazy i only do it when i'm like sitting in traffic um so whenever I'm going to the base in this sport mode, I have not done yet, but I am thrilled to try it out because I do have like the, the like brakes thing, the shift gears here. If it will focus, that would be great. Not on my leg. We have the shift gears here on the steering wheel. I don't know why my, my hybrid came with shift gears. Um, I know I can put my car. I'm just checking because I don't know if my neighbors are going to be coming down and walking out here. Um, I have... I know I can put it in the sport mode, but I don't think I need like shift gears for this kind of car, but they're there if I need them. But let me show you guys what's in this center console really quickly. Um, yeah, she's a mess. I am not a big drinker. I've said that before, but I do like the crown bags to kind of like 
keep stuff in um like i used to keep like loose change in here and then like sunglasses and i didn't have the bags i do have cloth mask in here as well because i mean it's the mask made that has been lifted in louisiana but you never know where you're going this thing can be removed and then i know it looks crazy but it's really organized i have the disposable mask and then i have like you know these things i showed you guys earlier i have tissues i have like tweezers and hand lotion i have oops oh i lost one q-tips in here oh there it is i'm just gonna keep that one out <laughs> um more disposable mask um utensils napkins because you know how you go to those places and they don't always give you stuff like fast food places and they don't always give you stuff like we normally go to like canes chick-fil-a and then occasionally popeyes but they don't always give you stuff i have like a first aid kit in here should have band-aids and everything in here i've got my favorite pair of sunnies in here this was uh oh this thing here this is amazing this is the um the way i can plug in my massage pillow which i'll show you guys and link it below i got it from amazon it's a godsend and then i have a spare one of these um should anybody else need to like charge in their phone i don't even think yeah there's a there's an outlet right here i don't know if you guys can see it and people can charge their phones in here um but i have yet to like need to use that portion and then i have like the manual for my dash cam i'll link that below if you guys are interested i forget what this thing is for but i have it um and then whenever it was cold here and we got that like freak snowstorm i did do doordash for a while and shipped i can do videos talking about that experience too before i left um it scraped off the ice off my car and then they also sent me gloves which you can still like text and use your phone with i've never used it as you can see um and then this what is this Oh, I have an emergency foil blanket. So yeah, I do want to talk about that because I do. And there's no rhyme or reason. Normally I'm pretty organized, but I don't really care. That stuff's like however it is in there. Um, so yeah, I got the, um, the emergency foil blanket. If you guys don't know, I am a medic in the United States Air Force. I am a reservist, but I do still have like some skills. Um, but yeah, I honestly forgot where I got this from, but I do have it as well as like one of these little things here. It's supposed to cut the seatbelt here. If you ever get like in a sticky situation in a car accident and then you can break the glass on the window with this part, I keep that in the car. And then I also have like uh, Sam splints. So if you're a medical professional, um, you know what these are for. This is like if anybody has like a broken arm, broken leg, and they need to stabilize it, whatever the case is. Or if I have one, I can direct somebody how to use it. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Like the instructions are literally on the splint. Um, I have two 36-inch ones and then the blanket. And then I'm trying to see what else I have back here. Oh, this is an emergency thing, but like my daughter and I on road trips and we're going to Texas, we do like fun riddles and trick questions. And literally this book has like stumped the shit out of us every time we've driven to Texas. It's crazy. But yeah, as far as like emergency stuff goes, emergency preparedness, I mean, I guess I could do like a better like emergency, like first aid kit, like keep water in the car at least, but it's so hot. I just don't see the point in keeping water in the car and then having it be like extremely fucking hot when you go to drink it i mean i guess it really doesn't matter because it's water but i don't want i mean room tip water is fine but i don't want no super hot water but that's just me i'm being nitpicky but yeah i have my i don't know if you guys can see it but my umbrella's hanging on those hooks i was showing you guys earlier and then i usually put my purse on these hooks right here um but yeah that's pretty much the inside of the car it's not a whole lot going on like i was gonna do like the led strip lights for the floor and then the uh led like uh, light up cup holders they kind of have like the mirrored effect on them too but i was just like nah that's too much i already spent like whoo just putting like the dash between the dash cam and like the decorations for the car and decorations um i've spent easily about 200 bucks on this stuff like it, when you buy things one at a time it doesn't seem like a lot but it definitely ends up adding up but that's the inside of the car i'm going to step out and show you guys the outside of the car one more time i'm not going to show you my license plate but i do want you guys to kind of get a full view of it and again i do have a 2021 honda accord hybrid um i got the hybrid version just to 
you know, be extra safe. The guy at the dealership was trying to get me to get the tour in, but that car is way, 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 way out of my price range. But yeah, let me step out so I can show you guys real quick how the car looks on the outside. So this is the front of my car. The little thing that says hybrid. Oh. It does have like a little blue thing. Um, but yeah, this is, and I love the rims. I got them shined up. But yeah, this is the car. I'll show you guys the back. But yeah, that's a quick overview of what my little baby looks like. Oh yeah, in the tent. Y'all, let's talk about this tent. Cause that was one of the things. And I went to the dealership, this is the last thing I'm gonna talk about and then I'm gonna close this vlog out. When I went to the dealership, since I had just gotten tent on my old car, I told the guy, I was like, hey, a deal breaker for me is me getting tent on this car. And since I already paid for it in one car, I feel like you guys can cover it. Because most cars, especially in Texas or anywhere else, like the cars come with tent. My car had zero tent. Like I felt like I was in a fishbowl. So I told the guy, I was like, look, I get tent by the end of the week or you're going to get this car back. He's like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So I had them pay for the tent, y'all. I mean, it's not even really tent. <laughs> like at night, it's pretty dark, but during the day people can still like see me and i can see them like i don't i don't mind seeing people i don't need nobody looking at my damn car because people are always like super weird or looking at you at the weirdest times like i'm usually in the middle of like seeing my heart out or stuff in my face with fucking chick-fil-a and i look over and somebody's like staring me down like like that's creepy so they gave me tent they just didn't give me the tent that i wanted and then the person that they they partnered with they were just like yeah this is the darkest you can get in louisiana and i'm just like i've literally seen people in like older model cars or like better cars luxury cars and they've got limousine tent so yeah i digress um i'm gonna maybe see about investing in darker tint i just don't want to spend that money right now just because y'all when i got the tent on my other car the guy actually cut me a deal he was going to charge me 250 he ended up charging me 140 or was it 160 it was 140 or 160 and he did a great job like the back windows are darker than the front windows and then he did the strip that goes across this window here and it was great i don't even have that in this fucking car so i'm just like I know it's like nitpicky and super extra and like nothing to be like upset about but it's just like it's hot and I didn't get leather seats for a reason and I really just don't want to be uncomfortable in my car that's why I kind of like bling this one out because um, like I said it's the first car I've ever like truly like done stuff for like I've named this car I got decorations for this car but yeah um I'm looking at the viewfinder thingy now and it looks like this video is about 15 minutes long and i still have to piece together all the other portions of it and i did tell you guys i was going to look a little bit different i just didn't think i would be in my workout gear but it is what it is i'm gonna go hit this yoga session and then i'll catch you guys in the next vlog bye